Frankenstein's lab, we've seen it a million times. We've seen it in castle turrets, we've seen it in basements. And so we were faced with a challenge very early on, which is what the lab should look like. No more let life divide what death can join together. Basically, I just saw Frankenstein as a kind of disowned black sheep of the family who, having had a wealthy upbringing, was now struggling to survive. So I created Frankenstein's lab based on some old rundown warehouse. Jonathan McKinsey's idea was that all the machinery in the lab is sort of thrown together because he couldn't afford good machinery. We wanted to make it look like a laboratory where you possibly could harness electricity. The bath itself is handmade, hand forged. Above it is what we call the chandelier. It allows us to imagine that it's connected on the roof. Frankenstein is trying to harness the power of nature to essentially resuscitate his creation. The lab has a feel of the Industrial Revolution and yet something else. The something else in Victor Frankenstein is always poetry, it's always his youth. So on the pillars and posts, there's a Keats poem. The books, there's as much Coleridge and Byron as there are medical anatomy books. So gradually building layer upon layer upon layer, that set became a representation of all of Dr. Frankenstein, from mad genius to sad sick boy to aspiring poet are all reflected. And that's the whole team working together. Perhaps we're all more shadow than light. <laughs> 